sorry ba kung dumi na lang siya ako pero we gonna react to this amazing au music audio official audio so let's get started oh are you the... uh like the sunshine you know sunrise you know? Bali Sanskrit does Bali Sanskrit does she talk about Bali like in Indonesia you know like we were uh, siblings like we yeah. never in country are fans you know so oh wow so yeah wow did, but but why where you from bring Bali to the table I think I think like uh, there's some manuscript there's some story from the Baliness to their country because like uh, Indonesia used to be, uh, Indonesia used to be Hinduism, right? Yeah. And Buddha before uh, another the, religion. Before they came, you know, way back when there's a kingdom things oh. like Majapahit. Yeah. Oh. Finley. Finley. Oh. I don't know. I think. Uh, she's talk about his story, uh, his story more, you know, like, uh, most like, most of the singer, like, Fanda, uh, a Khmer, like a Cambodian singer, always uh, fuse his story into their music. So I think like she talking about the history of the uh, Khmer or Cambodia in her songs. Powerful Dragon King. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. 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 Nationality, this proudness, come on, girl. Like a trumpet, right? so many traditional instruments yeah. in the background music and uh, I'm here for it for, uh, for real, sorry like if we only mostly uh, mention Fantan or Fanda because those two were the first like artists or musicians from Cambodia that we react to and uh, so we always relate to their music yeah. basically like every singer like Cambodian singer always infuse their traditional instrument into their songs to make it like mix between traditional and modern. Mm. <laughs> oh. So basically, in this part, I kind of feel like this song is to make like nationally feels blooming in our heart, right?
how like she said like even though uh, because of the change of the generation the the our youngster uh, are preferring the modern song so I think that's why a lot of artists from Cambodia infuse history infuse traditional music into their songs to make like to make the younger the younger uh, generation be more proud yeah. or dance or their culture. I'm really proud of this kind of artist, you know. Wow. They're, they're nationally, they're nationalists. Is this like the scripture that she's saying? Om Namah Sivaya? Om Namah Sivaya But one thing that we know like uh, the green is like Om Swastiatu, right? Yeah Oh yeah! Om Swastiatu Oh yeah And she said Om uh, I think it's, oh, yeah. maybe that's why she said like uh, we have similarity in scripture but from the Bali people I mean, oh wow. wow no I believe that we saw East Asian used to be one you know yeah before the broken for the war before that would be, the, wow. the <laughs> invading other white people oh. I really like it guys the way she uh, made younger people, youngster learn about the history of yeah. the Cambodia through her songs because you know music is the easiest way to teach people because uh, music is easy to listen, everybody listen to music every day so by infusing history, infusing traditional music into her songs made people more aware about, made people more learn about their history easier. I mean, ow, she is she is the best, guys. I really like it. I mean, Fanda, Fanta, and now her. Wow, Cambodia, you never stop to amaze us. Yeah. By the way, this is the end of our reaction video. Bye bye.